Hello, so today I am here showing you National Shrink Wrap. Now, I just got this system. It is cool, I love it. I was doing the little one bar at a time little thing. Now I can do nine bars at a time, shrink wrap them. It takes me half the time to shrink wrap them. So I'm here with Art from National Shrink Wrap and he is gonna show us how to use the system. Super simple, but there is a slight learning curve. So I wanted him to show us because he knows what he's doing. He knows what you're talking about. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what the system is and how it's unique and why you can do so many bars at once. Well, it's different from most shrink systems insofar as the sealing mechanism isn't attached to a base like most of them are. So with those, every time you want to wrap something, you have to bring the item over to where the seal is made, pick up the arm, lower it, make the seal, move your package, rotate it, put the excess underneath, and trim it. With a free arm system, especially for small items like bars of soap, we fill this pad, which comes with the machine, it's uh, silicon rubber, we fill the pad with film, and then we arrange our soap in between the two layers of film in rows and in columns, like an expanded tic-tac-toe board. So, just bear with me while we do this. Now we have to leave space in between each row and each bar and each column, otherwise there will be tension on the film when you're creating a seal, and the tension will prevent you from creating a good sturdy seal. So, here, we're almost done. So now that I've got the bars positioned somewhat correctly, take the wand. Now once a seal exists, we can push the soap right up against it. But when we're creating a seal, you don't want to go right up against You can see the tension in the film here as I'm trying to seal it. So we back off a distance equal to the thickness of the bar. So if your bars are an inch thick, you want to make your seal an inch away from the edge. Simply push down. While you're pushing, tilt it slightly, and the film just cuts and seals and melts away. So now we'll just slide these bars over to the existing seam, back off an inch, cut and seal that. I'll do the same thing here, and then one more time here. Now that you've got them separated into individual columns, we're gonna turn this so it's east and west and cut across the columns, so with each seal, I'm separating four bars of soap. Now with this, I'm just gonna push them up manually, like this, and cut across the bottoms. And here is the total waste from 16 bars of soap. Take your heat gun. You can shrink down the bars individually. Just take a bar, do the seams first because it'll be much neater on the side of the package. They'll thicken and strengthen. And then you can just take the slack out of the film. But it's much easier to just grab a handful and do a number of the sides at once and then just quickly touch up the front and the back of each bar. I see how this really cut my shrink wrapping of my soap like in half, probably a quarter. Super excited. Tell us what's included when you order this system. When you order the system, you get everything you need to wrap. With the 18 inch system, you get enough film to wrap four to four and a half thousand bars of soap. You get the surface that you work on. This is a silicon rubber pad. This is just carpet padding to, uh, to prevent from any irregularities in the surface that you're working on. It's very sensitive to surface. It's gotta be flat and it's gotta be sturdy. If you're working on a plastic table, we get this all the time. My cutter bar doesn't work properly. It seals at the top, seals at the bottom, but it skips the middle. That's what I did, yeah. That's if you're working on a plastic table or a folding table, a car table, anything where the top of the table bends. I've, we sell to a lot of gourmet chocolate and candy stores. 
and they all have these massive stainless steel tables. And in spite of how heavy they are, they're not a good surface because the top is thin, just a thin layer of metal, and when you push down on it, it bends. So what's a good table to put this a on? Desk, a, a desk, a kitchen table, a so dining room table. You could get a $15 desk at a garage sale, and this, you just get one of those old heavy ones nobody wants to move. You can even find it for free. That's what you want to put this on. No Costco folding tables. No, no Costco, Costco plastic tables. So now, when we're doing bath bombs, which seems to be the latest thing, we'll take... You can lay them out in a grid um, and do them like we did the soap, but you have to leave so much space in between each column. These are wrapped already, but just for the benefit of showing you. I just throw three in a sleeve here. Now, rather than back off like we were doing with the soap, you see, you want to make your seals where the two layers of film meet without you squeezing them together. But that's a lot of film to waste. So by doing one sleeve at a time, now watch how the bath bombs roll back towards the roll. I can sort of like tuck this in underneath them and make my seal. So I'm using just a very, very little bit of film. There's very little excess. I'll just separate one roll from the batch. And again, I'll come in at an angle. Again, come in at an angle and we'll separate this one. And then we'll do this last one here. So when you shrink these down, because you're using, and we're using a thin film for this, even though this has two layers of film on here, the film isn't so evident that it interferes with the view through to the product. If you get these little, that's called a dog ear, while it's warm, if you pat it down, they'll stay flat. So the same thing happens with a bar of soap, in many cases, well, not this case, but if you get those little protrusions coming off the corner, if you just press down on it while it's warm, they will flatten out. Yeah. So it's and, and not a big issue. And here's one thing. Okay, holes in your soap. What yeah. are the holes in the plastic caused from? Uh, too much heat. Okay. If you're not moving your heat gun, when you the whole idea. Oops, excuse me. The whole concept of using the heat gun, you've got to keep it in motion. The closer you are to your bar, the faster the film will shrink but the faster you have to move the gun to avoid burning a hole in it. So if I'm back here, like this is very safe, but it's gonna take me too long to shrink down each bar. So you wanna find that sweet spot where you're close enough that you're getting results, but you're not so close that, here, if I go real close, I have to keep this moving crazy fast. Mm -hmm. And that's fatiguing. And the whole idea behind this is that you don't want to tucker yourself out wrapping your soap. And when I get a small hole like this... Cover it with the label. This is my label. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I just ignore it. I just put a label over here. Now if it's really bad and it's on the top where my decoration needs to be protected or something, I will rewrap it. But otherwise... Speaking of which, in a bar like this, this is an irregular surface. So all these areas in between the peaks, there's nothing... It's hard to see because it's kind of small, but the film bridges from one peak to the other. So if you're doing like a, a, a water, like a sea, sea cap yep. kind of a thing where there's waves, the film will not go down in between the peaks, but rather will stretch across them. Those areas where the film is not in contact with anything are called voids. Those are more sensitive to heat than any other area of the okay. film where it's in contact with the contents of the so package. So keep your heat gun further away on these. Well, the best thing to do is do all the other sides first. Okay. So that's going to take out most of the slack in the film. So by the time you're doing this, you have very little shrinking to do. And if you back it up an inch or so, then it'll be a much more gentle heat and you'll eliminate burning holes okay. in areas where there are a number of voids. Good. Okay. Thank you so much for showing me this. I know my viewers are gonna love this just as much as I love it because it just really, I hate packaging. I could make soap all day long, but I hate packaging and shipping. This has made it a lot more pleasant. The link is in the description below. So if you wanna check out this wonderful product from National Shrink Wrap, I highly recommend it. I purchased it. I am 
an affiliate now, but I will say that I purchased this product before. I didn't get one free, you didn't send me one free. I actually purchased it and have used it before I decided. So check the link in the description below. We appreciate you guys watching us. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, visit us at livingonadime.com. Start that part again? We'll take care of it in post. <laughs> <laughs> we always do. It's like everything. We'll edit it out.